in the last lecture we learned how to set http headers on a request and send it to the server now in this lecture we are going to learn how to send some data with the request using query string we have already talked about query strings in great detail in the routing lecture in this lecture let's learn how to set query string in a request url when working with http client let's go to vs code and here let's say when we are sending this get request to the server to this url with this get request we also want to send some query string and in order to send some query string with the request what we can do is we can specify that query string in the url itself so here we are sending a get request to this url after this url in order to specify a query string we can specify a question mark and then we can specify a name for the query string for example let's say page and then we also need to specify the value for that query string for that we say equal to and then we specify the value for that query string so here let's say page is 2 and if we want to specify more than one query string we can use and like this and we can specify another query string for example let's say item equals 10 basically what i want is when we will get all the tasks from the database in the result we might have hundreds or thousands of records so i want to implement pagination and for each page i want to get 10 items so when i'm specifying this query string i'm simply telling server that i want to get 10 items from page 2 so in the first page we will display 10 items in the second page we will display 10 items so we will display items from 11 to 20 in the second page so i want to get those items in the result that's what i'm trying to specify here but we are not going to use it this is just for demonstration purpose so in this url we are specifying two query strings page and item if i save the changes let's go to our application let's again open network tab okay let's clear everything here and let's click on this fetch task button here in the url you can see that after the url we have page equal to 2 and item equals 10 so the server will read these query strings and it will perform some task based on these query strings so in this way using query string we are sending some extra data with the request url itself to the server so this is one way of sending query string to the server with the request url and there is also another way by using the set method so let's remove this query string from here here we are not going to specify the query string in the url instead what we are going to do is we are going to create an instance of query params so here let's create a variable let's call it maybe params or maybe query params and to this we want to assign an instance of query param and in order to use this query params we also need to import it from angular slash common slash http and actually it is http params and not query params okay so it should be http params and here also we need to create an instance of http params all right so here we are creating an instance of http params and we are assigning that instance to this query params variable now on that instance we can call set method and there we can specify the query string name for example here the name will be page and value for that so let's say value will be two and again this http params it is immutable just like http headers this http params is also immutable its instance cannot be changed so here when we are using this set method on this query param instance on this http params instance since it cannot mutate this instance what it is going to do is it is going to create a new instance and in that new instance it is going to set this page query string and its value to two so what we will do is we will assign that new instance back to this query params variable like this 
then if we want to set more query strings again what we can do is on the query param we can call set method and there we can specify the query parameter name let's call it item and a value for that let's say 10 here the value can be a string value a boolean value or a numeric value so that does not matter but the query parameter name the query string name must be a string value and again this set method it is going to return us a new instance and in that instance it is going to set this item query parameter so let's go ahead and let's assign that new instance back to this query params so here we have created the query parameters now we also want to pass that query parameter with the request to do that here this last argument which we are passing to this get method it is an anonymous object in that object currently we are setting this headers property just like headers we also have another property called params and to this params we can assign this query params instance this instance of this http params okay with this let's save the changes let's go to our application let's clear everything here and let's click on this fetch task and you see still in the url we can see that page is set to 2 and item is set to 10 because here in the angular code we are creating the query parameter the query string and we are setting it on that request on this get request and since query parameters are specified in the url that's why here in the url you can see those two query parameters page and item also if you go to this payload there also you can see those two query parameters so this is how you can set query parameters for your request when working with http client this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day